Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the top 10 golden tickets I think we need this year in Madden 21, guys. Now, golden tickets have not been confirmed yet, but we got them back last year. It seemed like they were here to stay. I hope they don't do away with them, guys, because it's one of, the one of our most favorite promos each year. Gives everyone a chance to be creative. Gives people a chance at some hope of maybe pulling something. Gives everyone a fair solo challenge, LTD, golden ticket chance, right? We love all that. So I'm really hoping they do actually bring that back. I mean, as of last year, guys, I think that had already been announced. But this year is a little bit backed up. We did just get an all-rookie promo, so I'm hoping they're just pushing it back a little bit. Because actually, in years past, I think golden tickets were never this early anyways. Golden tickets were always closer to the Easter promo, if I remember correctly, in the early days, like late March, uh, early April. So I think we still have time on that, on that front. I think last year was just kind of early. Could be wrong. But guys, moving on from that, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always, guys. And if you haven't already, guys, commenting and liking helps out a ton. So make sure you comment down below who is your favorite golden ticket of all time. Or who is the one... If you had a golden ticket today, who would you make this year? Let me know down below as well as like the video, guys. And now moving on from that, this list is not in order. There's just 10 players that I want or I think the community will make. Now I'm going to go through them one by one. Kind of go over some stats and why I want them there. Now before we get into the video, if you guys need coins for anything, head on over to my new coin sponsor, guys. Their prices are ridiculously cheap. If you use code Poodle, you will get an additional 5% off at the checkout. Make sure to take advantage, guys. Super great, super cheap site. But yeah, that's about it. The link will be down below in the description. Let's get into this. So Deion Sanders is a guy that I really want to see get a golden ticket now. He may get an ultimate legend soon, and that will be probably 97. But the golden ticket, you're able to boost a stat, right? So Deion Sanders, throughout history, has been one of the most dominant cornerbacks in Madden. But there's always been one thing that he really lacks in, and it really hurts him. Well, a few things, right? His press... He lacks in press. So typically, he's so fast, everything. But if you accidentally press him sometimes, he gets burnt off the line by guys like Randy Moss and an instant touchdown. For, so for the history of Madden, you always have to like not press Dion, which kind of hurts because he has the crazy man, right? So he can't press. So a, a, a golden ticket Dion would end up with all the stats 99, everything 99, right? That's the first thing. But his press would also be probably 99 as well because his press could probably get up to like a 91, 92. Like let's say just being a 99 overall, his press would probably get up to like an 88. 89 plus if you boost the press it'll probably get it to like a 94 and then if you do a um, lockdown it'll probably get that to 99 so you could probably get it to 99 chemmed out so that deal would be insane now for other stats you could boost again you could boost maybe his strength um i mean i would probably boost if it was me let's see his tackling now i don't know what his tackle is but dion has been historically bad at tackling and madden as well his tackling is a 58 i would probably boost his tackling and maybe hit power right so they, or block shed. So at the end of the day, his tackling may only get boosted up to like a 70, but that's a big difference in a 58. And that could be the difference between making a tackle and just getting complete. Like Dion gets tossed like a rag doll sometimes. Hit power can get up to a 70, which is actually pretty high for a cornerback, as well as maybe even his block shed getting up to like a 65, 70 as well, which could make it pretty good in the run game. That Dion Sanders card would be the best corner in the game, hands down. He'd be crazy. I would love to see it. Next, guys, Darrell Revis, Revis Island. Now I did. I feel like they didn't do justice on his first card early in the year. So I would like to see a revamped card that does actually go ahead and make it possible for us to enjoy a new Darrell Revis card. I feel like he got the one card earlier. It wasn't as good as we thought it would be. Now, a Revis Island card, right? 99 overall. What stats would I boost? The thing is, you wouldn't have to boost much on this front because at the end of the day, his speed will probably end up being like a 96, 97, right? Plus sprinter, 99. Uh, his zone would end up being, I would hope, a 99, right? Because at 99 overall... His zone would probably go up to like a 95, and then you would just lock down it. With Kem's and abilities, I think all the stats would be about 99. So what really matters here that I think he could use, that you should boost? I would say if you go on down, maybe boost his catching, right? Because that's one thing where it's like, if you can get a, if, when you get a cornerback catching high enough like Dion's, they make some crazy animations on the ball that you've never seen before. Maybe you could boost his juke so he has some good, you know, after the catch ability. But what I would probably do is here, I would probably focus on something similar to Dion, his hip power. I would get his hit power up to like a 75, 80 if possible, and maybe his block shut up as well. And those are probably the two things I focus on there. Maybe even his tackle. You can get all those things up, guys. He's going to be a hitter. He's going to be able to stop the run and tackle. And guys, remember, if all your cornerbacks like Dion, Darrell have block shed, they're going to be able to shed off of wide receivers pretty easily because wide receivers really can't block. The issue is cornerbacks can't block shed. So they, if they could shed off, guys, that would be insane. Now, one more corner, guys, in a row here. I really have some great ideas for corners. Like I said, Night Train Lane. You can get him, Revis, and, and Dion. It'll be crazy. The new Night Train lane is amazing, right? But he is missing one to two or three things, right? So next Night Train lane, same thing, guys. Going to be 99 everywhere. What would I touch? 
I wouldn't touch. The thing with the zone is, guys, he's literally one to two spots away from actually getting 99 zone. So I probably wouldn't touch that. Um, his powered up 99 overall would probably have a 94 zone, which means you can then get chem out to 99. So I wouldn't touch any of that, but that's the thing. He won't get 99 zone without being a 99, so he needs a golden ticket. So his front card is great. What would I touch on the back end, guys? Now, this is tough. So again, coming on down to defense, probably where you want to touch any of these cards, especially cornerbacks. I would probably get his block shed up even more to like an 85. I would probably max his hit power out to a 99 and get his tackle up. You get all those things up, guys. He's going to be an absolute monster in the run game. He's going to be like a linebacker, cornerback. Not to mention when he hits six wide receivers on like screens or anything a little low down and he gets a good hit on them. He's going to be crazy. Next guy that I would like to see is Darnell Savage. Darnell Savage has the potential to be one of the best free safeties in Madden. He, his last card was actually amazing, and he was only a 95 rising star. Now, Darnell Savage, right? His golden ticket would be 99. He would have 99 zone, 99 man. His hit power may even be like a 98. His speed would probably his speed would be 99, right? Because his speed would end up being, I would say, probably 97, 90, no, it would probably 98, 99. I mean, I don't, I don't think power up, right? It could even help. What would I boost on him as well? Probably boost his catching. Um, go on down a little bit more when you go to boost. I, it, it sucks that you don't know what he's going to get. I don't know if I'd boost the press, right? So you could boost the press, and that would get him probably to a 99 press with the boost and then his upgraded overall and the Glock down. But again, it depends if you press, if you man press free safeties. Um, I would probably boost the press, probably boost the block shit to make him a beast in the run game. And then, let's see, is there anything else that would be worth boosting for him? From what, from what I got, though, guys, I probably would just boost... And maybe it's change of direction. I would boost his change of direction because, again, he's a, you want to use him as free safety, right? Change of direction, maybe block shed, and maybe press. Probably what I would do there. And, guys, we have plenty more. I mean, that was only... I think we're only at number... That was seven, so we're at number six now. Now, the reason I want this guy... Yes, he's going to get an ultimate legend, but Lawrence Taylor, guys, would... Act, would I want to see Lawrence Taylor at 99 speed, and this is probably what it will take to see him there depending on his next card. Lawrence Taylor, if he gets his if he gets a 99 overall golden ticket, his card would have... I believe, let's say, so plus three, plus a power up, right? He'll probably end up with, I would say, a 95 speed. And then his golden ticket, I would say around a 95 speed, 96 speed, plus sprint. You could probably get him to a 97 speed, right? Give or take. So 99 set, 97 speed, Lawrence Taylor would be just crazy fast. He'd probably end up with 99 excel, 97 speed at, at end. That's a linebacker. Guys, if he gets any release on that on the tackle or anything, he's he's, he's gone. Like, he's that the quarterback's dead. Um, he'll have his crazy high strength. His power move will be 99. His finesse move will be 99 with cloud pass rush. Block shed would probably be, I would probably boost his block shed though. His block shed would be one of the boosts so that we can get his block shed up to 99, his power move and finesse move up to 99. And then moving on down, what else would I, probably his strength. I feel like strength's a big deal. Probably boost his strength up and then you can't boost any physicals. So then I would probably boost, uh, maybe impact blocking, maybe it really just depends here as we go on down. Uh, maybe hit power. I would probably boost block shed hit power and hmm strike block shed power strike oh strike the physical actually no so block shed hit power and i don't know what else would really be good for him like what else does he really need maybe maybe catching in case you put him out in a quick zone on someone he could play it block shed hit power maybe maybe no yeah maybe play wreck probably what i'd be doing there but that lawrence taylor would be absolutely insane moving on guys to the next few we do have at number five, I have DK Metcalf. Now, DK Metcalf would be super fun. Originally, I had another guy there, but I changed it because DK Metcalf would be overpowered as hell. DK, six foot three. His 99 golden tick would have 99 speed, 99 jumping, right? I would probably boost uh, one of his route running stats. Now, it depends on what he didn't, what he got, right? So, the thing with his route running is that his route running at 99 golden ticket would probably get, with play fake, it would probably get 99 short and medium. And then it would come close to deep. So what I would do is I would boost his deep route running so that his short, medium, and deep would all be 99s. I would probably, I would probably, maybe, uh, depends, depends, depends. I would probably boost some of his after the catch stats too as well. Probably give him like break tackle. I would boost his break tackle because his break tackle would be 99. So he'd have a 99 break tackle. Maybe his, I'll boost his juke and his break tackle. So he'd have a 99 break tackle and like a 95 juke. So that means that if you want to go juke someone out and they even like, you know, like you know when you get that juke where you get the break tackle juke, he would probably be able to do that all day on people. This Metcalf would be absolutely insane. And then moving on guys, we do have a few other guys here. A guy that I really like to see is Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray, I feel like he hasn't gotten love and mad in the last two years that he's been in the league. Never gets really great cards, sadly. I don't know why they don't give him meta cards, but 99 Kyler, 
would have 99 speed, right? Simple as that. He'd have like 97 speed, then you put on a power up and sprinter. And then his, his passing accuracy, all of his throwing stats would be above 95 um, for the most part. I Like I said, I would probably boost. I would boost his deep accuracy so that we can get that to 99. And then I would I would boost his deep accuracy and then put play fake on him. So he'd have 99 short, 99 medium, 99 deep. As well as, again, I'd probably go ahead and boost a few other things. Um, his change of direction probably gets to 99 on its own, so I won't touch that. Probably, I don't know. I don't know what I'd maybe break tackle. I, I really don't know what would be a good stat for him. When I, when I focused on passing stats, I suppose, right, for ability purposes. So, again, I would boost his deep, his medium short, and they'll, they'll get up on their own. I would maybe boost his throw under pressure. And then, hmm, I'd boost his carrying probably too. Get him to like a 90 carrying at quarterback. That'd be pretty fun as well. And then moving on, guys, we have this. Okay, this guy I feel like we have to make. I, I, so I had Chase Claypool here. But I realized the only guy that would be probably better than Chase Claypool would be Calvin Johnson. Six foot five, you know, gets even taller. Calvin, and he has a power up. Calvin Johnson right here will get a plus seven increase. Sorry, so plus six plus the power up, so seven. That Calvin would have a 99 speed with sprinter and everything. Um, he'd have close to 99 catching. He'd have really good route running, but I think he'd fall short in a few categories. So I'd have to boost some of his route running probably. So let's see, his short would get up there. So again, I would probably boost. No, I don't, it's tough because you never know, right? His deep, would you boost his deep? His deep plus seven. No, he'd probably get 99 deep on his own. So what you would do is you wouldn't touch the route running because the short and medium would get there with the overall boost and play fake. So you'd touch everything down here. I would boost his change of direction because that's part of the issues with him earlier in the year. He was too uh, bulky. So I'd boost his change of direction, get that close to a 99. I would um, probably boost his juke move and his break tackle. So it'd be 90 plus change of direction, get his juke to about an 85, 90-ish and then get his break tackle up to a 99. That'd probably be the goal on here. Because that was the issue. He wasn't after the catch monster. He could catch, but he, and he's six foot five. So on top of that. Now this card I'm really excited for. I would love to see a Saquon Barkley card, guys. If you guys ever get a golden ticket, talk to me. Let's let's make a Saquon Barkley. He got no love this year. I know he was hurt, but I've seen cards he got hurt and get some pretty good cards. So Saquon, 99 overall golden ticket. He would have 99 speed, 99 Excel. He'd have 99 change of direction. He wouldn't have to touch probably any of that. What would I boost? Let's see. Let's see. Um, probably his break tackle, right? Get that up to a 99. His strength. And then I would say what really matters here. Maybe is. So we break tackle. Break tackle strength. I mean, if we really want to be annoying, we could probably do his catching too. But break tackle strength and catching maybe. Get him, make him a super good receiving and strength back. Unless you're, unless, I don't really like truck. I personally don't truck. I personally think break tackle and strength is more important, so I'd probably stick with those. And then for the final guy that I'm almost certain, guys, that he's going to get a golden ticket, that is Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow would be a super fun golden ticket idea. It, it would be like kind of like a meme, but also fun. A Tim Tebow, 99 overall golden ticket, probably ends up with around a 95 speed, right? Give or take, you had a plus eight increase there, plus the power up. No, actually, probably ends up with like a 96 speed uh, with, with power up and everything and sprinter. And then, guys, as far as passing accuracy, you probably want to upgrade one of them. So like I said... Um, you probably up, you probably boost his deep accuracy because his short and medium, I think will get to 99, which is play fake and uh, the boost of overalls. And then you upgrade his deep, which will probably get to 99 with that as well. So you end up having a maxed out attribute guy in terms of passing. And then you probably want to go and focus on some, some stuff behind here. So you probably want to boost his change of direction maybe as well. And then I would say maybe his break tackle or his carrying depending. That's pretty much it guys. Those are my top 10 golden tickets that I would like to see in Madden 21 this year. Hopefully, you guys, uh, you know, we'll relook at this list later and see how many we actually get here. It could be none. I think we'll get a few at least. I, I definitely think Team Debo will get one. But that's about it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, like the video. Comment down below. Let me know what's going on. What is your favorite golden ticket of all time? Make sure you use code PUDA at checkout down below at my new coin sponsor. That's what it. I'm out. Peace.